leaders of pastors scatter the flock of God and drive them away by saying, you don't have to keep the laws. Grace is here. Give me Titus 2 and 11. You don't have to do what the Bible says in the Old Testament anymore because Christ did away with all that. That's how the pastors are scattering the flock. And you're just sitting there eating it up and listening to it like he's God or something. Read. Titus chapter 2 verse 11. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation have appeared to all men. So yes, they're right to an extent that yes, grace brings salvation. Without grace, we wouldn't be able to get into the kingdom. But what does grace teach us to do? Read. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust. Grace teaches you to deny the ungodly things of this world. Okay, Un deny it and the lust of this world. Deny it, I mean, don't do it. They celebrate Mother's Day, Grace is supposed to teach you not to do that, okay? They celebrate Halloween and Thanksgiving and Christmas. Grace is supposed to teach you not to do it because that's a tradition of men, read. Bring it up. We should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world. Grace teaches us to live soberly, righteously, and godly in 2018. That's what the Bible said, okay? Now, give me that in Matthews 19. And 16. Everybody says they love Jesus and believe Jesus and accept him as the Savior. Let's see if they'll do what he said to do to get into the kingdom. Three. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came unto him and said, One came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? So somebody asked Christ, What can I do to get into the kingdom of heaven? And he said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one, that is God. But if thou wilt enter into life, if you want a spot in the kingdom of heaven, keep the commandments. No, just pay tithes. Keep the commandments. Come as ye are. Keep the commandments. Celebrate Mother's Day. Keep the commandments. We ought to keep the commandments if you want eternal life. That's what he said. Give me Colossians 2 and 8. Why is it hard to believe? Christ said, keep the commandments if you want salvation. You're not going to get salvation if you want to just do your own thing. Right. That's not, that's never what the Bible said. Right. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. That's why in Colossians, Paul said, beware, meaning be warned, if any man deceive you and spoil you by saying, oh, you don't have to keep the laws. Oh, you don't have to keep the Sabbath day no more. Even though the commandment says, remember the Sabbath day. Not, not forget the Sabbath day, but remember the Sabbath day. People will come and say, no, you don't have to keep the Sabbath day. That's why I said, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceits. Read. After the traditions of men. After people making up things. Men. Read. After the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. What are some traditions of men? Halloween, Thanksgiving, Easter, what? Uh, what else? Christmas, Mother's Day and Father's Day. The, the commandments say honor thy mother and father every day. Right. It didn't say make one day to worship the woman. That was created by your oppressors, Proverbs 3 and 31. If you look up the history, there was a woman, a white woman, that wanted to have a memorial for her mother and created Mother's Day. Okay, it's not even of the Bible. Read. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. Stop choosing the ways of your oppressor. Your oppressor brought you over here on slave ships, raped, robbed, and murdered you, took away everything that you knew about God, but right. now you want to seek him to know God, to love God? That don't make no sense. Right. Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Get it don't make no sense to listen to the same people that have been the most evil on the earth. Right. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. One of the curses for you blacks and Hispanics was that you had to serve your enemies. The enemies meaning the other nations. People who are not of the nation of Israel. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. Sister, sister right here, do you go to church? Can you, you go to church? Okay, okay, so what does he tell you about uh, cigarettes? 
uh, not to smoke the suck weed. But yeah, I have to do it for my nerves. See, I feel through an aneurysm. See, my nerves are bad. Okay. Hey, sister, so what did he tell you about uh, the dress code in the Bible? Dress like you got to cut the shit, don't dress too hot. See, dress too good to cut. Don't feel me. Hey, this, I have sister, a has he told you about the Sabbath day? You know what the Sabbath day is? You know it right, but now you ask me some questions. I'm trying to get up here. Today. Listen, I'm, I'm trying to help you out because I don't think you've been taught right. Okay. I think your pastor's been lying to you. Uh-huh. Your pastor, the brother that you said was at the church. What has he told you about your nationality? Sister, what has he told you about your nationality? Anything? Watch, watch, sister. Listen real quick, okay? Listen. Because you look like you might want to serve God, right? Because you be going to church. Okay, watch this. Read. Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 1. Woe be unto the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. So the Bible says, destruction to the pastors that scatter my sheep, right? Do you know what it means to scatter the sheep? No. It means they'll tell you to come as you are. They'll tell you not to keep any laws. They'll tell you to do what you want to do. And sister, that's going to lead you into death, okay? It's going to lead you into death. Give me Deuteronomy 28. I don't want to go No, 10 and 12. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Sister, I know you got time. You ain't got nowhere to be right now. It's more important to hear this Bible. I know you don't. I got a lot of things. You don't because when Christ comes back, you're going to wish that you listen. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of you, sister? But to fear the Lord thy God. Do you know how to fear God? If you fear God, you're going to say, you know what, I'm not going to smoke cigarettes no more because I could die of lung cancer. I've seen it happen. I've seen uh, the commercials where the people talk out of a box in their throat because they were smoking cigarettes. So I'm going to fear God and I'm not going to smoke cigarettes no more. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways and to love him. God requires you to walk in all the ways of the Bible, all the commandments. Like today, you didn't know what the Sabbath day was, right? Exodus 20 and 8. Right, and, and a bad way is to be sinning, to not do what the Bible says, right? Read on. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. This is part of the Ten Commandments. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. That's in the Ten Commandments. That's what we are required to do every seven day. Okay? Every seven day of the week, which is Saturday, I'll be back. to remember and to keep it holy. Read. Six days shall the labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Matthew 26. So the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Our people have not been taught right in Christianity. Why? Because it was <laughs> brought to you by your slave masters. Hello, this is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.